Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So as you can see, we have another update to the ever-popular Flower OOBE, which enables you to install Windows 11 on any PC and also helps you debloat and bypass system requirements on unsupported PCs. Now, these updates roll out fast and furious, and it's actually quite hard to keep up with every release. But nonetheless, 1.41 is now upon us. So just a quick overview as to what's new in this latest release of Fly OOBE. Now, I would say the key highlight for this release, according to the developer, is the ability to skip CPU checks in version 1.41 with the developer saying previously the upgrade process only worked on CPUs that passed the compatibility check. You can now delete CPU check native.dll from the app folder to skip the CPU check. Just take note though, the developer says if you do that, you proceed at your own risk. It's carried on to say that the CPU check is always performed by Fly OOBE during the upgrade, but there are cases where skipping it is also supported. So I would say that's the key highlight. And then the next is the update check has been completely redesigned and moved to GitHub pages. And the reason for this, it said that the setup will also allow the developer to offer helpful guides and additional documentation there in the future. And they fixed an issue where the installer OOBE page didn't properly update the progress bar during app installation. And they've also fixed a bug where the app's OOBE page, also known as the Debloater, didn't correctly reflect progress while uninstalling apps. The next improvement, apparently there are several input dialog windows that have been redesigned and improved. They've also updated bloatware and installer signatures, and there's also minor fixes and improvements. So guys, that's more or less what's new in Fly OOBE version 1.41. If you do find yourself using the app, and if you would like to get your hands on the app, you can download it over at GitHub. And I'll leave the link for that in the description. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.